Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Saying It Like It Is. Well, it looks like I was right. Let's begin. I went to pick up uh, some tobacco today. I usually pay $4.80 for what I pay for what I get for a long, long time. Three days ago was my the previous time that I went to pick up some tobacco, it was $4.80. $4.80. I went there today. Same store. $6.80. Did, did it go up a quarter or 50 cents or 75 cents at a shot? No. $2. They raised at $2 a shot. Just like that. Just like that. Why people are saving money. Why the world is going mad, you might say. Then I stopped over to get some food. I was paying ten fifty for the same thing I usually get. It's ten fifty. Today, eleven ninety eight. I'm looking around, I'm like, it wasn't too long ago, you know, last time I was here, I told him last time I was here, you know. This guy never changes his prices, no matter what the outcome. Even with the epidemic and all that. This guy never changed his prices. He even said so. He says, keep the prices the same, and so I can have the people coming in. Well, today it was eleven ninety eight. So even him, his store, he raised the prices. So everything is going up. But the gig economy is still expecting us to pick up these three and four and five dollar offers where every week or every couple of weeks things are going up and up and up. But they're expecting us we're going to be accepting these types of offers. But they don't care. The gig economy does not care because it's just a service like any other service. And just like I said, examples that I made before, I'm going to provide a link and you need to click on that link and watch that video. And it's about the Hertz rental car. And look at the nightmares their customers had to go through. Just when you think the independent contractor had to deal with all these glitches and miscommunications and baloney and bullshit with the apps with the gig economy, how more severe when it came down to with the Hertz rental company? You'll see in the video. I'll provide the link. Where customers even had warrants on them that Hertz was telling that these customers were stealing their vehicles and some of these customers had never rented a Hertz rental car. Glitches and miscommunications and, and crap. And they were sending out warrants to people and even they were saying they were renting this car from this state, but they live on the other side of the United States. And then they never went to this state. And sending out warrants for them, and people getting arrested. In some cases, people were in jail for 10 days. But there's a major, major lawsuit against the Hertz rental company. And watch the video, and you get to hear all the beautiful things and you get a picture, it sounds just like the stuff that Grubhub and DoorDash and Uber Eats issues. You'll hear the similarities. So there it is, guys. There it is. So the world is going to hell in a handbasket. We got all the idiots and the crazies are on the loose and they're running the country right now. They're in power and they're running the country. 
So the best way to get something done, if you if you hold near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to. Anyway. Information laundering is really quite ferocious. It's when a huckster takes some lies and makes them sound precocious by saying them in Congress or a mainstream outlet. So disinformation's origins are slightly less atrocious. It's how you hide a little hide a little lie. It's how you hide a little hide a little lie. It's how you hide a little hide a little lie when Rudy Giuliani shared that intel from Ukraine, or when TikTok influencers say COVID can cause pain. They're laundering disinfo, and we really should take note and not support their lies with our wallet, voice, or vote. Secret. Most people don't really know what capitalism is. Most people don't even know what socialism is. But most people are not capitalists because they don't have capitalist money. And there you go. So there it is, guys. There it is in black and white. And that is that. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.